Oh my goodness. We just had another great workout in the Thoughtfully Fit gym. Today we focused on how can you engage your Thoughtfully Fit core of pause, think, and act when you can't find your holiday spirit. Um, and Nancy Clark was the leader of our workout today. Nancy, you talked about two situations where, or, where it might be hard to find your spirit. Do you want to just give a quick overview of those two examples? Absolutely. And like I was saying it when we were talking in the workout, it's like, it's not about surviving the holidays. It's thriving in the holidays. Uh, that, that's what I shoot for anyhow. And so what we were talking about is the two different practices of, you know, flexibility, accepting others who are different and figuring out how can you stretch for acceptance and as well as with the holidays, right? It's so, we put so much pressure on ourselves around all the situation, the food, the gift, the, the perfect picture, the, so together those things can be, can be hard. And so practicing flexibility or practicing like endurance, kind of getting over your own thinking. So we were, we were talking in the session about uh, with the flexibility, I, I've decided that I am going to be more accepting of um, one of my sisters who, okay, I totally got into the British Bake Show. And so I now am the patisserie queen that shows up at all of our holiday gatherings. And, uh, you know, so I've thought about it. I've put together this beautiful dessert and I go to put it on the table and like, uh, well, she's raised by wolves. That's all I can say about my sister because she eats that thing without even tasting it. And I used to, you know, I would spend all my time wish, well, I wish she would like actually chew it. I wish she would, you know, smell it because it has such a great smell and that would add to her experience. And I'm like, why am I wishing away? Like, I think what she's trying to show me maybe is that she loves it. And I wish she would express it in a different way. Um, but I've just learned to look for another sister to help me, um, you know, get my Paul, my Paul Hollywood handshake without, you know, without getting my finger bit off in that mad scoop to eat my dessert. So, and it sounds so silly, Jill, but it's like, I was like, we were saying, it's like pet peeves can ruin your holidays if you just can't you know, and those yeah. are, those aren't big issues. They're just pet peeves, right? So yeah. how can I accept her more for who she is? And, how and there, she is? there's so many of those types of things at the holidays. And I, I, I think thinking about, like, I think about my family, we have some people in our family who love pictures and we have other people in the family who don't like pictures and trying to convince the other side that they're wrong with pictures it's not worth the time and the energy. And mm -hmm. so you can spend your entire time wishing, oh gosh, I wish we could have gotten more pictures or just accept, okay, they don't like pictures. They're going to stand there. We can get the pictures that we want. And I love your example with your sister, right? Like you could spend the entire time then after she wolfs down the dessert that, oh gosh, I wish she would do this and this but what's the point? Um, and so often when we talk about flexibility and stretching for acceptance, it doesn't mean approval. It doesn't need to mean that you approve of her scarfing down your dessert before she takes a look at the beauty of it, but just accepting you're not, you're not going to be able to change her. Yeah. And it's the mindset, right? It's my mindset. What am I looking for in terms of, um, you know, what does, appreciation look like right well okay so for one sister it's she will notice those things you know for the other that's how she shows appreciation so mm -hmm. for my mindset it's not about setting her straight about what proper appreciation looks like when it comes to my patisserie uh so right those are the things I can't control I can't control how how she you know chooses to enjoy my desserts and why should I yes why should I care so that's um, you get to control how much bandwidth and energy you give her behavior that you have no control over, but you right. have control over everything. Right. You know, and then the other situation we were talking about, and, and I know you and I had had fun talking about all the different holiday trash talkers that show up and that whole practice of endurance, which is how do you overcome the obstacle? And sometimes the obstacles are your own inner trash talker thought, right? So I was sharing that I get nervous nibbler Nancy sitting right here unskillfully coaching me about how I can't handle 
uh, all the treats that are going to be served when I'm really trying to, you know, not eat sugar and how they, you know, perfectionistic peppermint patty who sits up here and says, well, you have to think of the perfect like entree lead into a conversation that will engage everybody. And, you know, how do you just like recognize those holiday trash talkers that are saying you're not enough. You're, you're just, whatever you do, it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be a good enough conversation. It's not going to be a good enough gift. Um, you know, it's not going to be a good enough show of discipline of, you know, eating all, you know, the right foods. And how can we overcome those obstacles in our own head? Those trash talkers can be loud during the holidays. No, yes. no doubt whatsoever. You so, don't have any though, do you, Jill? I'm oh, pretty sure you don't. I, I got a whole bunch of them. I, I, the, the perfectionist peppermint patty, definitely a huge one for me. I, I was also thinking about, um, Hallmark movie, Holly, which, you know, I, I just expect everything to be, you know, like glittered and snowflakes and everything just to be, you know, the, the perfect quintessential idyllic holiday. I, I've yet to have one of those, but right. For whatever reason, it's all this shooting in, in my mind is definitely there. So Nancy, thanks so much for a fantastic workout. For those of you who are gym members, we still have a couple more holiday themed workouts coming up. Um, over the next few weeks here. And for those of you who aren't gym members, we encourage you to check out the next free workout, which is going to be coming up the 1st of January. We'd love to have you in the Thoughtfully Fit Gym. And in the comments, let, let us know who are your holiday trash talkers or who are the, what are the situations where you need to maybe practice flexibility as well with, with your loved ones? Let us know in the comments um, and let us know how we can support you. Happy holidays, Nancy. Ho, ho, ho.